Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so a gal, Reseller Jen is her YouTube channel, reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to do a collab. So I'm not sure how many people are doing this or what the whole plan is. And I actually wasn't going to commit to it until May because I said I was kind of taking a break during April, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get her done. So I don't have all of the email details but from what i understand the hashtag is going to be ask me 20 um all one word hashtag ask me 20 and i'll put it down in the description and if that change it'll be in the title too and if that changes look at the title for the hashtag because it may change since um i'm kind of doing the video earlier than i expected so I will also link the other channels that are a part of this um, Ask Me 20. And basically what it is, it's 20 questions, get to know me, reseller edition. And she has sent me 20 questions that she wants me to answer for my viewers to watch. So um, let me show you her channel real quick. She is new and you guys know that I love helping other resellers that are YouTubers grow their channels. So um, I thought this was a good opportunity to do that. So I'm going to share her. Let me share screen share. Oops. So I'm going to pull up her channel and she is very, very new, but it is reseller Jen. And right now she has 11 subscribers, but I am doing this video a little bit early. So these are her videos. So you can see she does um, what solds and thrift hauls and, you know, basically reseller content. So I will link her down below. Definitely go and give her a sub, show her some support. It's, um, it's hard to grow a channel. So uh, definitely go and subscribe. And again, I'll link, if she sends me the other channels, I'll link them down below. Or you guys can maybe just use the hashtag askme20 to see the other channels that are involved. All right. I'm just gonna read through these and answer them as honestly as I can, which I always do. So. Um, how long have you been reselling? I have been reselling since 2005 and it started out as a hobby and I worked my way up to leaving a full-time job with benefits and um, insurance, left it all to be a reseller. So um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. It was one of the best things I've ever done. Um, is your business part-time or full-time? My business is full-time. Um, YouTube's taken up a little time, so maybe I'm part-time. No, kidding. I'm full-time, full-time reseller. Do you work on this business alone or with other family members or employees? So I am solo. Now, my husband does like to dabble as a hobby. He has a full-time job, but he dabbles with things. So I really, um, he will draft it and then I will do the rest for him. So he doesn't really help me. <laughs> That's like his play money to buy his uh, more inventory for himself and hobbies. But he's really at a hobby level. Um, you know, maybe 10 items a month, maybe. So um, yeah, but no, he doesn't really help me. I mean, if I asked him for help, he would help me. Sometimes I have him carry things in, but no. I basically help him do his hobby, um, but that's fine. That's great. Um, now, I do have a gal that does consignment for me. And basically what I do is I give her items and she puts them on eBay and then we do a 50-50 split after fees. Um, so I take it to her, I drop it off and I don't think about it again. And she sends me money when the items sell. Um, I just got another gal who is going to do that for me. And I would like to have five more. So if anybody is in Licking County, Muskingum County, Franklin County, um, what else is kind of close? Fairfield County. And you're interested in doing consignment. Basically, I would provide you with inventory. I would drop it off and you would list it. And again, after fees, we'd do a 50-50 split. What I paid for the items makes no difference. Like that's just a part of, that doesn't come out of the um, profits or whatever. So if you're interested, look me up. 
Um, I do have two Facebook groups down in the description of the video. I have Instagram. So if you guys want to check those out and learn more Bolo items, I share Bolos there also. What's your favorite platform? My favorite platform is eBay. Um, I do use List Perfectly. It's a cross-posting extension to cross-post my items. So my items are on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Sometimes Etsy, I dabble in Grailed, but really the most I have time for is eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. And what I do is I start my items on eBay, and then I will cross-post them to Mercari and Poshmark. And List Perfectly is awesome if you guys have not heard about it. And I don't know why I'm crinkling my forehead so much tonight. Um, down in the description of the video, I have a link that will show you a demo video of how I use List Perfectly. It will save you so much time. And what I always say is new platforms get different eyes on your items because I will tell you there are people that only shop on Poshmark. There are people that only shop on Mercari. And you're missing out on those buyers. I've had items that have sat on eBay that I then cross post and they sell right away. So um, definitely 100% worth it. I have been using List Perfectly for over a year. And the main reason I use it is because I manually cross posted over 3000 items from eBay to Poshmark manually. Like I had to redo all my pictures, um, like screenshot them. It, it was horrible. It was before their list perfectly was around. So um, I've done it both ways. And I will tell you, like, it's the best thing ever that I've done for my business as far as making me more money. So um, if you want to check out that demo video, it's down in the description. If you decide you want to try it, you can use referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word that will get you 30% off your first month. And if you join my Facebook group um, and you have questions, you can feel free to message me. I only cross post from eBay to the other platforms. You can use the catalog, which would probably save you even more time because they have like a delist button where you can, if it's listed on all the items, you can delist, which is gonna save you time, but it just pulls them up. You still have to manually do it, but it doesn't automatically do it but it's definitely an awesome feature that I'm missing out on because I don't use the catalog. All right. Um, let's see. What types of items do you resell? So I was primarily, actually, I was a full-time clothing reseller. Clothing was all I did from 2005 up until about probably two or three years ago when I switched to hard goods. And that's about the time I started my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel my main channel. I think I'm posting this video on my sourcing with Bolo Buddy. So I do have a main channel that I'm just about ready to hit 9,000 subscribers on. So I'm super excited about that. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, there's a link down in the description. But um, yeah, about the time I started my Facebook groups and then I started my YouTube channel and I basically did that to learn about hard goods. And I was like, if I'm going to be learning, I might as well teach while I learn. So I have a lot of category videos where I will teach about a specific category and items to look for. So it's a great way to learn. So definitely check out that channel also. Um, so hard goods. I sell any anything, anything and everything, anything that I can make money on. I stay away from clothes because I'm just bored with clothes, but I do pick them up from time to time. I don't retail arbitrage clothes anymore, but if I'm at a garage sale and I see something that I know I can make money on, I'm like, oh, I got to do it. All right. What method or methods do you use to source your goods? Um, my favorite way to source is garage sales and yard sales, which I'm super excited because that season is just getting ready to start in Ohio. So really excited about that. Um, thrift stores. And I get a lot of mystery boxes, as you'll see if you watch this channel, from um, a local thrift store that I really enjoy. Um, I also order um, mystery boxes and um, I order mystery boxes from YouTube auction or from YouTube channels, but I also buy from their auctions. I'm just trying to think how to word that. But the two that I mainly buy from, well, that I've only bought from, I need to branch out and start looking around just because there's other channels that I um, 
I know that people are sourcing from and they're getting some really good deals. So I source from Donatella Bottolino and T Auctions for You. And those links are down in the description. I do have unboxing videos on my main channel, Bolo Buddies. And I do have some, I think I have one over here so far. So check those out. Um, you can put Donatella Bottolino in the title and search that way, or you can put auctions for you. Let's see, what's the next question here? Oh, where else do I source? Estate sales? Anywhere, really. Facebook Marketplace? Anywhere. Anywhere I can find a deal, that's where I source. What is your average profit per item? No idea. I mean, I range so much. Um, I, I will do bread and butter. We all love big money bolos, but they're not always like, everywhere you go, you know, they're, they're harder to find. So if I can buy something for a quarter and flip it for 10 bucks, I'll do that. So I don't know. I don't know what my, um, average profit per item is. I really don't. Um, I will sell anything that makes a good profit and I'm not afraid to do bread and butter. If it's quick and easy to list and I can flip it quick, I'm down with that. Um, if you go to my main Bolo Buddies channel, I have a whole series on bread and butter bolos where I am sharing with you items that I sold that are bread and butter. $35 or less is what I consider bread and butter. What is your average cost per item? I like to say stay under $3 per item if I can. Now, if it's something that I know I can flip for 50 bucks, I'll pay five. <laughs> I am pretty cheap. Um, I kind of joke about that. Uh, yeah, I, I like to get deals. I'm one of those where I go into the garage sale and I'm like, can I make a pile? I'm a bundler. I like to bundle. I like to get good deals. Um, how many items do you currently have in inventory for the various platforms? I think with my multi quantity items, I have over 6,000 items on eBay. And Poshmark and Mercari are probably, I don't have multi quantity on Mercari because you're, they don't have that. But um, so I'm going to say Mercari. Gosh, I don't know how to look. 2,000 items, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And Poshmark's probably 3,000 ish. Not, not sure. Not sure. Etsy, I'm down to like 120. I've been really slacking. I need to really dig into Etsy because I think I could do well on that platform. Grailed, I have like 20 items. It's Grailed is just, I, I'm not feeling grailed. I just don't feel like it's my market, you know? Um, okay. What is your daily sold out of your invent total inventory? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, it ranges. Some days I sell 10 items. Some days I sell 20 items. Some days I sell five items. I mean, it's a roller coaster, but I'm selling, um, different amounts of items from different platforms, you know, and I will tell you on eBay, a lot of those items are clothing items that have been listed for a while that I had multi quantity. Um, so they're long tail, they're long tail items. So they, my numbers do not look as good because I have a lot of clothing that's just sitting. My hard goods move much better. And I'm so thankful and so glad that I have moved away from clothing to hard goods. If you are selling on eBay, do you utilize promoted listings and promotions? Yes, I do promote all of my items on eBay. And yes, I do offer promotions. So I offer, um, if you purchase two or more items, it's $5 shipping on most of my clothing items. And then I also offer um, different discounts, like as you add items to your cart. So if you go into my store and you add items to your cart, those promotions are automatically applied. Um, and I also run sales anywhere from 15 to 25% off, um, depending on the week. So if you want to check out my store, there is a link down in the description of the video. Feel free to make an offer. If you see something you like, just put Bolo Buddies in the notes. All right, let's see. If you're on Poshmark, do you share your closet on a regular basis? Okay, so Poshmark is very time consuming. You have to share your closet if you want to get sales. But the one thing that I have found that is most important on Poshmark is if I get a like or a heart, I send that person an offer. 
and I try to send offers to what to is it likers on Poshmark? I try to send offers to likers on Poshmark daily. So um, I try to hit hit them up with an offer sooner than later. I know some people wait, but I feel like your person you're more likely to get the person to buy it if you get it when they first show interest because you know how it is you're like oh i want it and then you find it somewhere else or you kind of like eh, i don't really need it so that's the way i generate probably the most sales on poshmark okay the question 14 if so do you think this helps with the amount of sales you receive so i basically just answered that i think that most of my sales come from me sending offers to likers. Um, if so, what types of sales have you found work best for your business? Um, my business motto, uh, not motto, not motto. It's, it's almost 1 AM and I just flew in from vacation today. So, um, I'm trying to get some videos updated. I wanted to get this done for her. So, um, my business model <laughs> would be, uh, buy it now with best offer. So what I do is I price my item a little bit higher than I want to get. And I offer the option of best offer, or they can take advantage of the discounts by adding items to their cart. So, um, that is what works best for me. I do not offer free shipping on eBay. I do offer free shipping on Mercari. And then of course, Poshmark, I do not offer free shipping. How many hours would you say you spend sourcing every week? Ooh, <laughs> that depends on the week. Um, I do not have a set schedule that I go by. If I feel like sourcing, I go and source. I, I don't need to source. I have inventory, inventory everywhere. <laughs> um, like I said, if I could get five, six, maybe even seven people to do consignment for me, I think I could keep them busy. Um, I love to source. So I love to go out and I love to find deals and I love to list also. I'm not saying I would stop listing. Like I love my job, but, um, yeah, I, I love to source. So if I feel like source and I go source now, my husband's like, maybe you should list and not source. And I'm like, but I'm in the mood to source today. I want to source today. <laughs> I want to go to the garage sales. He's very understanding about all of my stuff. He's like, uh, I think we need a garage. I'm like, okay, let's get a garage. <laughs> so maybe someday. All right, let's see. How many hours would you say you spend listing every week? Again, I love my job. And I want to keep loving my job. So I do not set goals per se. Um, I just list when I feel like listing. I source when I feel like sourcing. Um, I do YouTube when I feel like doing YouTube. I just, I, I will say right now, my sales are down a little bit because I've been focusing on YouTube. So I'm telling myself I need to get stuff listed. So I guess that's a goal. but. Um, I, I don't have, um, I don't have, I don't keep track of how many hours I spend. I, I mean, sometimes I work at night. Sometimes I work during the day. It's just kind of, I, I want it to be fun. I want my job to stay fun, if that makes sense. And maybe that's wrong, but it works for me. I've been doing it since 2005. So um, yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. I'm not saying I don't set goals. I do set goals. Sometimes I'm like, I'm going to list 10 things today. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll see if it gets done. Um, if you listen to podcasts, what reseller podcasts are your top recommendations? I do not listen to podcasts. I watch YouTube. So um, yeah, I, I, I usually have YouTube on in the background when I'm working. And, um, I will, yeah, there's so many good channels. You guys, there are so many great reseller channels. I'm curious to see who's going to be in this, um, in this, uh, this group I'm arrested. Okay. Let's see. What is your goal of goals? Okay. What is your goal or goals to have accomplished by the end of 2021 for your business? I don't have any goals guys. I really don't set goals. 
I don't have any goals. I mean, I always hope to sell more than I sold the year before, but honestly, it really just depends on life. And this year I focused a lot on YouTube. So my sales probably are not going to be as good. Um, I will tell you that is one thing about YouTube is it takes a lot of time. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, um, just know that um, your sales probably will dip and you don't make a lot of money on YouTube right away unless you are getting a lot of views. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm talking a lot. So just be careful with that. Uh, I'm not saying don't do it. It's a lot of fun. But if you're expecting to do it and just like make a ton of money, it's, I mean, some people do like Harry Tornado. He's killing it. He's got a hundred thousand subs already. Awesome. And, um, he's making money because he's getting 50, 60, 30,000 views per video. And yeah, you're going to make money if you get that. But if you're getting a thousand views, 2000, 3000 views, I mean, it's not enough to make up for what you're losing by not listing on eBay. So if you're thinking about a YouTube channel, just FYI. Okay. And I know a lot of resellers are doing YouTube right now and it, it's a lot of work. It really is. Um, so for those of you thinking about it, if you have questions, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll be happy to respond with honesty <laughs> because it is not always like, it's not easy. It, YouTube's hard. Uh, what do you think your business will look like in five years? I think my business in five years will look exactly like it looks right now. Um, I do want to continue to, um, increase my knowledge on hard goods, but I intend to stick with hard goods. Um, when my husband retires, which is not in the next five years, but when he retires, he will probably sell more on eBay because he really enjoys it. But right now he's full time. So it's just, it's just too much. So hashtag ask me 20, put it in the YouTube search bar and that will pull up, um, all the people that are being a part of this collaboration. It's not really a challenge. So, um, just channels getting together, but, um, yeah, so I will have to tag two people to, um, to do this, I think. I don't know if she's going to do that or not. I need to reach out to her. I should have reached out to her before I started the video. Whoops. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I do have Bolo Buddies merch available. So if you need a t-shirt or anything, uh, there's a link down in the description of the video. Be sure to go over to my main channel, Bolo Buddies, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up on the video or comment or whatever. <laughs> and I was going to say hit the bell. That's what I was going to say. Let's see. What time is it? It's 1.09 a.m. All right. This lady is going to bed. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if I tag two people, I'll do it down in the description and then I'll reach out to them. So I don't know if this is going to be a tag you're it type thing or not. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.